You know, one of the things I really like about these Punisher hair jigs is their ability to come through cover. With this head design, you can come through the heaviest cover, and that's important. You know, you're going to get more bites if you can get that bait through heavy cover. That's where these fish live, and you know, that's the that's the main deal. The other thing that I like about this hair jig is they're hand tied and they're tied very evenly. You know, if you have a hair jig and it's bulky on one side or the other, the jig will tend to roll. And these hair jigs, you know, it's, uh, they do a really good job hand tying them. The hair is great. I love that synthetic hair. It doesn't compress, has a lot of body to it, a lot of nice natural flow to the bait. And that's the deal. You know, when you put on your trailers, you got to make sure that the trailer is rigged up perfectly even. If it's, uh, you know, one side or the other, it'll roll too. That's, you know, those little things are going to put more fish in the boat. Real one. Well, he popped it good. Nice one. And he, I mean, he totally inhaled that jig. That's a nice one. Look how he ate that jig. It's a quarter ounce Punisher hair jig in the camo color. And I got a little soft plastic trailer on the back to slow the fall. Nice smally. And the thing that seals the deal is, is the hook that they use. It's an ultra sharp Gamagatsu hook and the wire is perfect. It's not too light, it's not too heavy a wire. A lighter wire hook, it's going to bend out, especially with bigger fish and, and you know some of these fish still pull hard this time of year. A heavier wire hook you're not going to get as good hook sets, especially in deep water. It's just not going to penetrate. You want something that with a needle point, but also doesn't flex. And this is a perfect hook. Got him. Another nice one. There's a nice one. And the Punisher. Nice smally. And I'm going to keep it very simple with my color selection under normal conditions. You know, when you're facing adverse conditions, you can use a different color, you know, different water clarity. But under normal clear water situations, I'm going to use two colors, you know, for the most part, maybe three. Camo, and this is kind of like a crawfish imitation color. And this will work both in, in cloudy and sunny days. But I like the camo colors a little bit brighter. I like it on cloudy days. I just think the fish can see it a little bit more. And I'll match this camo with a green pumpkin trailer. And there's a bunch of trailers you can use. It all depends on how slow of a fall rate that you want your jig to, to perform at. Um, when I'm fishing, you know, sunny days, I like black. It's hard to, hard to beat a black hair jig. And, and they make them in a black and purple and a black and blue. 
I like both. I mean, I haven't seen one outperform the other. They both catch fish. Black and purple, black and blue, it flat out catches fish. These two colors right here will catch big large mouth, big small mouth. And that's one thing that's great about these hair jigs. You know, there's some hair jigs on the market that will work better on small mouth than they will on large mouth. I've seen that over years. This is the one hair jig that I can catch both big large mouth and big small mouth in a boat. And when I'm fishing a lake that has both those fish and I'm in a tournament situation, that is key. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, that is a big one. What a light bite. <laughs> Ooh, what a horse. Mm. Oh. That's a cold fish. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> that is a stud. I can barely hold it, my hands are so cold. Oh, what a nice fish. Is that camo punisher? Green pumpkin trailer? Slow down the fall. I'm gonna let her go and catch another one. What a beautiful fish. Look at that fish. For more up-to-date videos, subscribe to Paul Mueller Fishing on YouTube or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.